We do have to sell all our old stuff, but we'll be fine. All right, we're back. Welcome back. Now we can do the third trial. I take it she's Hello, done setting Professor. it up. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. Ooh. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay, we gotta get into the headmaster's office. Should be no problem, right? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Oh, Perhaps nighttime? Professor Fig will know what to do. All right, there's Fig. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows oh, there's even a stone more right than there. we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He when liked her so up, much that he like let you. her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice, polyjuice potion. potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. That outfit Let's just though. say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it not change your voice though? How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that yes, taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I this is um, the potion. Places to be, Professor, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> You'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... 
Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student? <laughs> Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I wonder almost daily why I accept Master. Here, yeah, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading for the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. That was if you weird. Must... Something is... Professor Black, again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. <laughs> Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. That would be unwise. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, I um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry uh. for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Hmm. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. We just have to make but everything sir, up. if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Well, a little bit of a cover for... Thank you. But I'm happy to look Fig. into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Scroop! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Hmm... And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Family reign. Purity of blood. But certainly I remember. It's still... 
Stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> of course, I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? Yes, I am. Of course, Oops. I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Toujours. Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ahem. Uh, Attend. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. Uh oh. I best get out of sight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password oh. to the gargoyle. Okay. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Oh, yeah, dude. You guys remember this to get to the headmaster's office? I know where we are now. Let's whisper the password. Toujours pure. Oh shoot, guys, we're going into the headmaster's office. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Sleeping portraits. Rebellion. Looks like this lock's on the other side. All these are high level locks in here. Oh, yeah. You guys recognize this? The headmaster's office? It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber. It's been amazing. Hank, and yeah. read the book that appears. Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Here it is. We went in the book. I said receipt. Oh, is it a receipt? I thought it was a Where recipe. Where am I? Whoa. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In what? this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You Whoa. must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. What the heck? Are these like death eaters? Make your way through town. Okay. It's like we're stealth. Interesting. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. My chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. Okay. 
Okay, we made it through. Some birds there. Looks like it didn't give us away, though. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Oh, shoot. Maybe we stay line of sight here. Gotta wait for it to patrol. There it goes. Let's move. Need the invisibility cloak. Be able maybe. To find me if I got that. They're gone. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. There's so many on the map on my left here. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. You think I gotta go back the other way? No, he's turned around. Maybe we can make a jump for it now. We need this one to move now. There we go. Okay, I think we're clear up ahead. Death. Nothing is no danger. There must be another way to find him. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Maybe we go in. Oh. That door went closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Potion. Oh, that usually means there's fighting up ahead here. My chance. Okay. Cross over the top. What is this? That's the way forward. I'm not cloaked anymore. A mysterious cloak. Wait, maybe this is. It is. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. It is, dude. This is. This will conceal us from death, right? From the Deathly Hollow story. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh, no. We oh. the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. This is it. This is the this is the power wand, the mysterious wand. So maybe we have to get to the resurrection stone in order to talk to Nave. I've never felt such power. Oh. 
Do I only have these spells? All right, we only have these spells. Bombardo. I don't even have Bombardo yet. The Elder Wand, yeah. This was Dumbledore's wand. Oh, that hit me. What's the synergy here? The Pulso into the Descendo? Bombardo? Dude, Bombardo is crazy. Do some of our ancient magic. That is pretty cool. Dude, it, I mean, some of the other spell combinations are pretty good. are such fast cooldowns too I, i've been trying not to look away from the screen so i don't miss these but so far into the corner sometimes i gotta look too far and then i get distracted and miss it all right not too bad though what tell me we gotta fight him we gotta fight that Big spell on the big guy. Barely does anything. Defender. 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 Big ult. Stupefy. Missed the counter. Pot it. No! I countered the first one, not the second one! That's so late! Oh my gosh, dude. No! I'm too late on these timings! Oh, that was it too. I should have just used my ult. I was saving in case there was another wave. Yeah, and there is. We're fine. I'm gonna let my health regen a little before we're in combat. Now we are. Why can't I cast? There we go. Defender, Descender. Are you kidding me, dude? I got out of range of that. There we go. I need to go more distance. I need to hold it down. Ouch! Okay, 
I do have the talent for the combo on it. Too late on it. I can't be in cast or I can't use the dodge. If I'm already casting a regular light attack, I can't do uh, my counter. Could I use potions there? I didn't think I could. Oh my gosh. Could I have used my focus there? We still got it. It costs us a lot of potions though. Stone. There's the resurrection stone. For me. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. <laughs> Neve. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. There's death over Neve's grave. I think it is. I you think found me. Yeah. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Huh. Oh, is that a pensive? Remember that as you witness my memory. It is. Okay. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. She it removed the pain. It. And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Oh, no. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. It's like us with the dark arts too. You know? We're just going big with the dark arts. Yeah, I see where this is going. I think I see where this is going here.
And uh, it doesn't look good. It definitely does not look good. We completed the trial. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. Okay. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. Yeah. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. 